Welcome Aquarius, Pisces, to your September Astro Dice reading. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Best message coming out. Best message for the month. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay, we have the 11th house coming out Ooh, with Leo energy with some Venus energy coming out as well. I love that. So having this Venus coming out over here is talking about the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. Okay, with beautiful Leo energy. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, passionate. It focuses on importance of self-belief. And going straight into that 11th house, the 11th house is talking about... Where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. Talking about that luck and social occasions. Okay. okay. Focusing on that willpower and confidence with the Leo coming through. Getting straight into this. This is going to take place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Finding that balance. So feeling feeling like there's a little imbalance going on when it comes to the Venus over here about what you really desire of your success, of what your dreams and what you are doing. Um, it could be with just luck in itself, um, but feeling a little bit imbalanced and wanting you to open up to any suggestions and balance again. So there is definitely some kind of balance going on and it feels like you might be fragmenting energy. Fragmenting energy is when you're separating energy and you're allowing energy to pull in two different directions. If you're giving too much energy, or let's put it this way, a lot of energy into two different directions, you could be fragmenting that energy and not giving the balance needed uh, for the luck that's that you're looking for. So if you're always worried about love, for instance, because we're talking about the Venus, but the Venus is talking about that love and success of money. So it does feel like within that area, you could be giving so much to your money issue and your success, but also trying to find love at the same time. So you're seg segmenting this energy and fragmenting it all over the place to where it doesn't pull into balance, my friends, right? So with the Leo, though, I love it because it says that there could be this boost of willpower, this belt, this boost of self-belief and, and confidence. So it definitely has this exciting time um, that I can feel coming through it. Yeah, to where you're going to move on from one to try to find the balance within the other. So figure out which one it is that you truly want as much as the other at this time. That way you can kind of balance that area out and then you can go back and try to fix the other. Um, this will allow it to go with the flow, opening up that wheel of fortune for you. And then your daydreams and decisions will start really flowing towards what you really truly want in life. Okay. So I'm really liking that. And this is believe and succeed. Believe that this is exactly what's going on because we're really talking about this boost that you're going through, but also this imbalance. And we are in Mercury retrograde. So knowing that you're in Mercury retrograde, you want to make sure that your social occasions and communication is really going well, right? So which way do you want this to go though, right? Because um, right now it's saying there's invested too much energy into two different things that are separating. It's causing imbalance. So we need to find the balance for you. Finding the balance. So clarifying on the find the balance in the beginning of the month. Yeah. Not patiently planning exactly where you want to go. And this is because you're opposing what it is you're putting out there. So with you stressing on this area and stressing on this area, you're causing this imbalance. It's not allowing you to, yes, to be able to take in what you really truly need within that successful area of your life, uh, whichever area it is. Um, everybody's area is going to be a little bit different. You know what it is. It's what you truly desire within, within yourself, within the things you want. Having the hangman. Really meditate upon the situation to find what it really is that's kind of um, holding you back in certain areas. 
you feel like, you know, I'm not winning over here and I'm not winning over there either, that's because of the imbalance. So you need to open up to the ideas of what the rewards are that you really, truly want. Really hold on to one at this time until you actually get what you need. Then you can continue with the next. And this will actually cause the balance that you're looking for. Um, and this is, you know, going inside, reflecting upon the situation. What is the hard work that you're actually putting in with the Three of Coins? The Three of Coins is hard work and rewards and being recognized for them. So if you're really looking for whatever it is, you may just have to rework what it is that's going on within your life in the beginning of the month. Shows right now that you are kind of trying to fight, though, to try to do too much, too much at once, which is going to leave you with Five of Cups. It is. It's going to leave you with this kind of sorrow, with this kind of disappointing um, energy. But not only that, it's also going to be disappointing because you're not going to see the rewards that you're looking for at this time until you can actually aspire to really move towards what it is you truly desire. One thing at a time. Let's see what's going on. So it's not, you know, it's not showing that you're going to be moving on um, away from your dreams and your desires. You're actually moving on over here in the middle. It's talking about moving on so that you can get balanced through the situation itself. Um, that being really the middle piece of the whole month um, is really a telltale sign of what's going on and what's the big change that's coming and um, undergoing on this whole situation. So let's see what's going on over here. With the crown chakra thing in the mid-month that you're in the all-knowing, you have the understanding and the courage to keep going through. So you're definitely going to feel like you are in power and having this big change and taking approaches to different situations um, a lot differently. With the Queen of Wands, she's definitely in control. She's intuitive and she definitely has the power behind her for strength to know exactly what she's proud of and what she really wants to accomplish. And you're really going to feel that it's really you as the Queen of Wands. That's really you. You're going to say, you know what, I'm taking this big change, these big steps forwards, and I can see and I know that where I'm going, I'm placing myself into better places. Absolute two of wands. Making new decisions on where you want to move on to. Um, knowing that, you know what, I, I had to let kind of go of the reins on this area over here, but the more that I'm letting kind of loose on those areas, I'm definitely finding new directions um, and new things are really coming in fast for you in the mid-month. So loving that and really uniting yourself with what it is you truly want um, and this is really an intriguing time right now also to meet people, speak with people, and really have new plans going on where you didn't really have much pa uh, patience and planning kind of over there because everything's kind of a little wibby wally in the beginning of the month. Uh, with the page of coins over here, it's knowing that this person can come in. If you need any kind of investors or this is love, then you're going to find that you guys are united together. It could be this Capricorn Virgo or a Taurus that you find is uniting with you. They could even be going on your dreams, granting your wishes, coming towards you. Um, but there's a lot of luck coming through this situation. I just see a lot more com conversations going on with this person over here as they're really making some kind of breakthrough with you. Going with the flow, you have the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. It's almost like you're going to feel like you win the lottery. Because what you've manifested, you now have the good luck to go through. So continue to keep going through the through the flow of everything that you've been doing, my friends, right? Um, because this is going to say that this is exciting opportunities opening for you. Things that you've been manifesting for your dreams and decisions to come through are actually taking place with the generosity. And there's going to be a lot of generosity around you. And I feel like it is this page of coins over here who could be this Capricorn. And it's saying, you know what? I've got this for you. Here we go. Um, and it feels like they've got a lot of possibilities and a lot of things going on that are actually going to meet your needs for this. So, wow. Next card coming out is the Emperor and the Temperance. So you have the Emperor over here. Well, it is. It's going to make you feel like you are in boss mode. This generosity, this things that's going on, there is going to be a boss mode that's transforming within yourself as you're really feeling like you're taking on the new opportunities. Um, you're going to actually feel this power, though, as well, because you're going to feel like 
whatever was misplaced is now all coming together. I've got my balance. I've got the things that I need. If you need to take a break, it's time to take a little bit of a break if you need one, but just make sure that you're keeping the backpack full. Do you understand what I'm saying? We don't want it to be too big of a break. Meaning if you need to rest, take a little time off, that's fine, but make sure that you're ready to rock and roll because you don't want to burn yourself out, but yet you don't want to lose what you have, right? Because right now is a big time for big deals, um, big projects, things of this nature. So really get ready for that. Big love, however, right? With the temperance over here, it's going to be a lot about patience and planning and the perfect timing to really watch your ships coming through. So at the end of the month, because of the Wheel of Fortune coming through and this huge luck break that you're going to have, lucky break you having, you're going to really watch these. Um, I don't know, guys. It's, it's, it's huge because you have the Three of Wands coming through and it's saying, I am seeing my dreams and and my luck and my wish is coming through exactly the way I wanted it. It's just that I keep in the beginning of the month pulling it away from me, even though I know I could have this. So it's like something you know you could have, something you could, you know, definitely be recognized for in the beginning of the month. But until you actually get stabilized in that area, you will definitely start seeing it all really manifest and really pulling together where you feel like right now you're kind of all over the all over the place, right? So Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.